I literally just sneezed before I started this video and my lips started bleeding, so... Hello! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My Chanel. That's French for channel. So this week I'm just going to be working on a commission that I got from York Regional Arts. The project is that I get to illustrate someone's life. I chose to do it in like a book-like format. It's kind of nice doing this commission because I feel like I have a lot of creative control creative control. It's kind of nice doing this commission because I feel like I have a lot of creative control, which you don't always get doing commissions, so it's nice. Anyway, so we're gonna start making the book today and then probably getting to illustrations tomorrow. So let's start. So I did some drawing this morning. Right now I'm just working on the commission that I was working on the other day, but I like literally drew for like three hours this morning. Like it was a long time, but basically like I found this artist, he's a YouTuber. I was watching like a lot of his anatomy videos and stuff like that. And I feel like I just learned so much from just watching them. I don't remember his name, but I'll find it and put it up on the screen. And if you guys want to check it out, I can leave his channel in the link in the description. Anyway, I just like was watching his videos and I just like felt so inspired to like draw and paint and like do work basically. I felt like a motivation in myself that I haven't felt in a really long time to like get better at art. I feel like I've basically like plateaued in like my artistic skills. This was like my artistic growth. It's like in the beginning it was like crazy like how much progress I had made in such little time. And then I feel like I just got to a point where I'm like making no progress or very little progress. I feel like I haven't improved for like three years and I feel like I haven't been working as hard as I could. Yeah, I like draw and paint every day, but I just don't feel like it's enough. I feel like I need to challenge myself more. I mean like, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I kind of wanted to say. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to work. We have lots to do. 
So let's go. Okay, so this is probably gonna be the last day that you guys see me work on this commission in this video. I'm actually like more than halfway done at this point. I think I only have two drawings left to do and then I'm pretty much done the project. But I wanted to talk about something that I have never talked about on my channel before. And I don't know how much detail I'm gonna go into with it. I mean, I don't know how much people think about it or how interested they are in the topic, but we'll see, I guess. This person's story that I'm illustrating is probably gonna be really triggering for a lot of people. And I just wanted to talk about being an artist and dealing with material that is really emotional or really dark or really triggering. There is other ways to show difficult situations without being literal. The only reason I'm mentioning this is because I think that when most artists get difficult subject matter, I think that the way they think to tackle it is to be literal because it's being true to the story. But I think one of the other ways to go is to be metaphorical. If you're dealing with topics that are really dark and you choose to be literal with them, it can be really triggering for the people who have gone through that thing to see the images that you've painted. Now, I'm not saying being metaphorical is the way to go every single time. There has been some really powerful work by many different artists who have shown really dark imagery and it has been the right move to make. All I'm saying is you need to calibrate what the right decision is to make in that scenario. I think because the story that I'm illustrating is really dark and it's going to be for a large audience from many different backgrounds to consume, I'm trying my best to consider those people as much as possible and what would be powerful imagery for those people to digest. Not imagery for myself. As much as I put myself in my work and I I love making art. The imagery or the piece that I'm doing is not for me. It's not about me. It's about someone else. So I need to really consider other people and what I'm choosing to show in this story. I think that it's just something for artists to think about and I thought maybe it'd be worth mentioning. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then give it a like. If you want to subscribe, then subscribe. And I will see you guys next week for I don't know what yet, but I will see you guys next week. Bye.